bro, 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 bro. Welcome back. Try that again. <laughs> Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, enough with all that goddamn stuff. I did that yeah. to really wake me up. But um, if you are a new family member, freaking welcome to the goddamn channel. Yeah. We do everything light, cool, easy, breezy over here because we ain't got time for the booskit. For real, for real. If sure you're an old family member, y'all know how this go. We cut up. We will have an after party down in the comment section. Yep. And we will keep it popping and shit popping. And if you are not a family member, hit the subscribe button. Give us a like. Give us a dislike. Either way. We good, man. We good either way because I'm going to go to work in the morning. And make that good corporate so job. Even if I don't go to work, I'm still gonna be good, man. Still, still gonna be good. gonna be goddamn good. So, Empire without apology. With eh? that was a freaking prophecy for me. Eh? God darn. For it. me, let me check you out, cause no good, man. Make I'm sure your beard straight. Yeah, you I, told, I told her last night this can be her new um freaking um makeup <laughs> brush. Let's go. Don't move. get. Don't touch me. <laughs> You can touch me this week, but don't touch me. <laughs> All right, so no apologies. We getting somewhere, but I'm not sure I like where we're going. We will definitely get there. But what had happened One was day. we started out with Mr. Lulu. Now, I am 100% sure we have Lucius Lion back now. Yeah, I think he back. So I'm going to start calling him Lulu Dwight. He is no more. He died in the cabin. So Lulu is having a vision, right, that something went down, mm -hmm. you know, pertaining to this explosion. Now, we're going to give a pause right here because somebody mentioned in the comments last week. And when they mentioned it in the comments last week, I said, you know what? I think I do remember that that did happen. Didn't Andre already confess that he did it? But now I don't we, remember. But now we acting like. I don't, I don't remember him confessing it, though. And maybe it's just but it's see, the, the thing power about suggestion. I don't know. See, the thing about it, last season, he thought Pamela existed. So it probably was his head that he apologized to Lucia. And then it got in mind? Yeah, I said Lucia. Lucian. Lucius. Lucius. Lulu. So um, Lulu came back to Empire. First thing he did was ran up on Thirsty, told Thirsty, listen, all of the particulars that went around that car explosion, I need you to investigate and report back to me everything that you know or that you don't know. But yeah. report back to me. And he's looking at him like, yeah, uh, what you looking for in particular? Because it's going to be a dead end. And he said, no, just bring me back what you got. And he said, you sure about that? Now, Thirsty looked at him like, dude, if you don't want to know something, don't, leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Leave you it. good. You got one good leg and you walking good on the other. Yeah, hours. you alive. Just leave it alone. Thank God for another day. Let's, let's just yeah. get it for sure popping. You know, it didn't happen on the first 48, so <laughs> you're good to go. So, you know, Thirsty does what Thirsty does. He gets on the case. So then we see Lucius. He comes back to the Empire to take his spot on his throne. But he's more interested in having Cookie Lion ride on his bone. He's like, listen, all of this, I'm back in my seat. You know, mm -hmm. you second chair. But when when we going to get back together? When yeah, we going to be when back, you come in, back in my beat? She said, hold on. When we were sitting in that cabin with crazy Castle and Claudia, huh? she brought some stuff out of both of us that I think we need to explore before we do any of this togetherness. And True. I agree. True. Now, my girl, um, Miss Tink, she um, said in the comp, no, it was um other girl, the one with the pretty dreads. I can't think of her name right now to say my life, but you know who you are. They were red and they black. She was saying that when Lucius was giving his um, side of the story of how he saw things when he had to go visit Cookie in jail, it was very therapeutic. And I was thinking that the same thing, but I forgot to yeah. talk about it last week, was that no one has taken into account, yeah, Lucius did all this stuff to get Cookie put in jail, first of all, mm -hmm. and all that, but she was a willing participant. Yeah. But did we ever think about how he felt every time he had to go to that prison mm -hmm. and see her with a different wound? a different cut, a different black eye. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he was like, you know what? I didn't come because I couldn't stand to see you like that. So yeah, yeah I was sending the boys in to see you, but I didn't want to see you like that. And I was like, yeah, you know that what? Was, yeah, that was a good That point. was real deep. So yeah, that was good. Now Cookie started to think about all the stuff that came out at that table with Crazy Castle and Claudia was like, mm -hmm. y'all are just toxic. 
for each other. Say maybe 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 maybe, cr maybe Crowley is good at what she I do. I told you crazy people yes. can cancel crazy <laughs> people. You gotta have a little just like gangster. You just, gotta have a little gangster to Just to like talk that time when thug. Jamal said a uh, 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 what did you, how do you say it? You, you can't, can't fool, fool a fooler. And baby, I'm, <laughs> I'm a <so> fool. <laughs> so. I'm going to put that on a t-shirt, man. That's too much. So, now Go we're ahead. over there doing for the, you know, we still got this 20 for 20 going on. And I'm so glad they had that big 20 in the background. Cause yeah, it's been I so forgot long. all about that because it's like that's been going on forever. So, now we got Tiana. We got Hakeem. And we got Jamal. They're performing. And I said, oh. Jamal sure does bounce back real quick. He went from murder to the mic real guy doing mm -hmm. quick. Last week he couldn't stop crying. And now he's singing the high bars off. Yeah. Everybody got their um Asian attire on. You know, everybody doing the Asian style now, which is cute. Um, you don't go and buy you one? No, I'm not. <laughs> I got enough house robes because that's what they are. You got a little bit of him or Asian in you anyway, though, man. And don't do that to me. You do? I don't. You do? You look I a don't. little bit Asian? No. Let her know, y'all. I'm Haitian. Yeah. Yeah, you Haitian with a hint of Asian. <laughs> Shut the hell up, style. I don't have time. The Lord just sprinkles you with a little bit of Asian. It's just going to take a little bit of that Asian right there. You know you have to sleep with me tonight, right? No, I don't. I'm going to give you some ancient Chinese secret. Uh-oh. No, I'm not. Not tonight. <laughs> not the way you acting. So, um, all of a sudden, we see Eddie. And I've been peeping at it for a good little minute. And I didn't want to, want to think that Eddie would be on the other side of the booze kid. But it looks like he is. I think I think that he came in with a pure heart. I don't. No, let, let, me, let me explain. <laughs> See, he was the hit wonder back in the day. And Lucius is hot now. They were good boys. So, probably way back in the crevice of his mind, he probably was like, I want to be Lucius, but you know what? I'm going to support my friend. You see that? I'm going to do what it takes to help him in the time he almost got blowed up, almost lost his life. I'm going to come in. I'm going to help Cookie. We're good peoples. But when he got on the inside and see the type of life that they were living and the kind of money that he was making. The green eye monster. That's when the jealousy... The envy, the want to take over, the empire started coming out. See, as long as you're on the outside. See, that's why you don't let anybody come in your house. I don't know where I'm going with this. That's why you can't let everybody come in your house because some people will like you until they see what you got. Then they have something they want to be you. <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> then they want to be you. Oh, no. So that's what happened, man. I think he that's came in with a pure yeah. heart. Stanley. Yeah, he came with a pure heart, man. Can I go on a rabbit hole real quick? Hey, I'll just in one, so you might as well go in there. Well, I'm jumping right back down in there with you. Yeah. Um, tonight is very therapeutic for us. We have been through hell this mm -hmm. weekend. If y'all looked at our review on Monday with the Tiana and um, Iman show, we barely got through that bullshit. Yeah. We will talk about it probably next week. Next Monday. Next yeah. Monday on... Because I think that'll be more appropriate for what we've been going through. It's not us, but you want to kind of say what it is? I just we just put out like this. If you live in a Newport News area and you saw on the news that a 39-year-old girl was stabbed by her 42-year-old boyfriend, um, that's a family member of mine. I Murdered. Yeah, my cousin. So. Uh, so we will talk about that next week but it's been it's been tough yeah so as yeah. therapeutic as reviews are for you it's very therapeutic for us to actually be able to come out of what we're dealing with on a think about something different and yeah. to do something different and you know just kind of break it up cut the phones off turn off the internet don't look at facebook where everything is going down right now yeah every post and is about it yeah so just to come and talk to you all so we just want to let y'all know, as much as y'all appreciate us, we we'll, freaking we'll appreciate y'all. Because y'all yeah. getting us through this God doing thing. And then on next Monday, we will talk about it a little bit more in detail. Yeah. Um, when it was just, when it kind of flows with what we're dealing with. But right now, it ain't flowing. So, back into the God doing review. Now, we see Eddie over there. Him and his ex-wife are kind of doing the, the, you know, like me and Stella would kind of look at each other if we're across the room. He know what I'm thinking, I know what he's thinking, and mm -hmm. we know what the next move about to be. We don't need to exchange no words. That's kind of how they looked at each other like, mm-hmm, go ahead and shoot your shot. Well, I seen Eddie over there looking at Tiana. The wife was like, uh, 
be careful. You looking for wife number four or ex-wife number four? Hmm. Eddie saw Hakeem and um and uh Tiana kind of getting a little little cozy again. He got pissed off. I got pissed off because I'm like Tiana. Yeah, because of that. Tiana. Yeah. Tiana. Did, did this dude embarrassed the heck out of you? Mm-hmm. And they got no court. Did all of that talk to you like you were freaking crazy? And now you one little song where he bump a grind on you with his um kimono on, and, and you want it back. I don't have time. I don't have time. It's real love, man. It's not real love. That's what happens <laughs> to people. Ain't no Emily B around here, dog. <laughs> so, um, I'm sorry. That was insensitive. But anyway, um, I'm an insensitive kind of person. You need to times. see Andre's doctor, man. He doesn't work for me. He doesn't take my insurance. He doesn't take Anthem. I have Anthem. Blue Cross Blue Shield. <laughs> PPO. What Andre got? Medicaid. <laughs> Let me stop. Part one or part two? No, that's Medicaid. Okay, Medicaid. No, part A. Part B. B. Yeah. Hell no. No, he don't even have the Medicare. He got the Medicaid. Well, I can't Ooh. even. I can't even front on Medicaid. Medicaid is paying for gastric bypass surgeries these days. Yeah, man, they coming up. They coming on up. They might kill you, hard huh, part. But they providing it. <laughs> God, no. And if you try to get it with eyes show us, they make you go through all he got though with classes and Well you know what they're gonna they're gonna be offering cosmetic surgery soon, man. You can get your nose fixed on Medicaid. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you boy they moved to that boy. People be like, you know what? Forget my work insurance. I'm gonna keep my few hundred dollars every every two weeks. Well, we get on Medicaid and they didn't get that. right on that man and be like, shoot, I'm getting my nose fixed. Mm -mm. First thing I'm gonna get rid of is my double chin. I don't care how much weight I lose, my double <laughs> chin. That's the first thing I'm gonna. We ain't even talking about the show, but look, it's slide. Cut. I just I just thought about something. What? Don't laugh. But this is when I used to do construction work. Oh God. And it was a dude from North Carolina, and he said he was out of work for about three or six months. And he said, man, you know, these people like, I can't, I'm so glad to make the work that start making paper again and bringing paper into my household. Not him. He was glad to be able to get dental insurance to get his motherfucking teeth fixed. Hey, I'm He running around the job, boy. He said, hey, hey, I'm getting this good dental insurance, boy. You see these TV at? He had two teeth right here. Got two teeth right there. All the rest of them motherfuckers gone. He said, I get my teeth fixed. I said, God. <laughs> stop talking. Please stop talking. All day long, he yeah. running around getting my teeth fixed. But you know what? Before I left, Stella. I didn't see his teeth fixed though. And I was there, like, he, I was there maybe for about another year after he was there. And the teeth were still the same. But I guess he had but, no money for the hey, copay. He loved the fact of having the option to get the fixed. Hey, ain't nothing like having the option though. The option is, man, the option is more powerful than the actual delivery of it though. <laughs> It really is. Well, you know that science, though. Static, we can Where go. Where we going this rabbit hole? <laughs> we go into it every You know, science is the, the endorphins are a lot stronger on your pursuit to something that you want. But when you get it, that's why when you get it after a while, you don't care no more. That's why I always tell females, y'all better stop being so goddamn easy. Because the power is in the chase, man. Yeah, it is. I had a dude chase me for like seven years. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. How you told me that? Yeah. <laughs> And then when I file it, I ain't even gonna go down. So that's why you get bored with life because you always gotta be chasing something. Yeah, yeah as much as I ran him around that rabbit hole, he came right yeah, on uh -huh. back every goddamn time. He was like Steve Rook, I'll wear you. So you ain't chasing nothing, you're dying. <clears throat> but anywho, back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so Ed is mad because Hakeem is actually getting a little cozy with Tiana and he wants to get a little cozy with Tiana. He pulls Tiana to the side at some point. See, we're going to wrap this thing up. We're going to pull Tiana to the side at some point and talk about some, listen, you need to be all about your music. Mm -hmm. Take this thing seriously. And at this moment, I saw what y'all did over there in that corner and I didn't like it because you only have room for one man in your life right now and he's sitting right here. I said, I said what? Like, what? If you don't shut up. Say, so you just got here yesterday. You better go back to Wakanda and get that eyes <laughs> fixed again. The uranium. The uranium. <laughs> I'm still trying to find a flight over there. I found it. You did? Yeah. I got, I got to apply for my global entry, though. 
<laughs> I bet your soul plane was real. They have a flight over there. I ain't getting on it. That's flight a, of flight 069 that's Wakanda. Worse, that's worse than spirit. <laughs> and Snoop Dogg is a pilot, boy. And I ain't going nowhere on that with him. So, next what thing we think know, about his, What y'all think about his, uh, Snoop Dogg's um, gospel album? Like Alan say on The Hangover. <laughs> I did. I, I said maybe I got to continue list. It was like maybe two or three songs that, that I did like. but I feel like slitting my wrist. But it had 32 songs. It got 30. So I appreciate them coming through with the 32 songs, though. That's a lot of songs, man. But uh, I'm yeah, not gonna, I'm not even gonna say. So it. I think I might, I might give it another listen. I, 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 I was excited until I started listening to it, and I was like, eh, eh. Yeah, well, let me know what y'all think. Y'all might like. Stanley upset. Said this is bullshit, Lynette. Yeah, I some said, of stuff. I was mean? like, what? Because Stanley's taste in music is a little bit more old school than mine. So I like trap music and ratchet um, music and stuff. So when he said it's bullshit, I was like, okay, what it else? ain't ratchet enough for him. What else? I listened to that stuff and I said, why am I depressed? I felt like I was listening to, oh Lord. But I appreciate I'm his trying. efforts though, of I, crossing over, I try, trying to do something different. I don't. I always appreciate somebody doing something different. Don't mean it that it works. Don't mean that it ain't, that it works. But I appreciate you trying to do something different, man. Cause a lot of people sit around talking a whole bunch of bullshit and ain't doing nothing. I'd rather for you, you just shut up and you ain't doing nothing. That's all I gotta say. I just say it like this. If you go to a buffet and they got 32 items on the freaking buffet and all of them are nasty, did you appreciate the effort? I appreciate them putting the food out there for me, man. <laughs> you, just, you, you full of sticks, Tyler. You full of it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, Hakeem proposed to Tiana. I don't even know how we got here. Yeah. How did we get here? Um, and Tiana said, <clears throat> I think about it. You know, if, when we say we think about it, the answer is no, but I'm prolonging the no. Cookie actually explained that a little later on. And Lucia said, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep talking and uh -huh. dig yourself out of that hole. You just dug yourself yep. into. So then we got Jamal. Jamal done went and picked up um, Andre from... The facility that he was in took him back to his place i guess they're trying to round up some clothes or whatever yeah i really didn't understand what they were doing but <clears throat> andre immediately went into uh -huh. this is the last it's place crazy. i saw pamela i said andre you, but you know what i thought was gonna happen though i thought they were gonna flash and he see her on that floor again that would have been crazy <laughs> i wasn't ready for that I wouldn't that would have been that. crazy so um Andre ends up going back to church after he said, you know what, buck this. I was having a relationship with somebody one day. I need the Lord in my life. So he went on to the church and um, Pastor Lucian mm -hmm. came on down there and asked him, you know, you know, I've been trying to reach out to you ever since Rhonda, you know, dead Rhonda that still comes around there now and then. <laughs> I reached out to you to make sure you were good after that and whatnot. Andre really didn't say whether or not he had got those calls or whatnot, but he told him, he said, listen, I thought I didn't have a place here in the church and whatnot. Basically, I think I screwed up too bad for God's forgiveness. Okay. And Lucia was like, no, what you need to do is basically air it out, confess your sins to the Lord and to nah, those that you offended. No, nah, he, nah, he said he felt like, he said God betrayed him. Oh yeah, God betrayed him. I think at some point, <clears throat> most of us kind of have that. Have that. Yeah. It, it, you know, it's levels to it, but I think at some point everybody feels like, why me and yeah. you know, so Andres, Especially his, his real close to home. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So, you know, he, he's got that whole thing going on and whatnot. So then we're going to move over a little further. Come find out. Is this, is this guy doing three heifers? SWV. No. No. <laughs> no. I'm just throwing names out there. The three black devils. So I, I knew I knew what you called. I don't know who the mother chicks was. Tisha Campbell. Tisha, Why? I don't know who the Tisha going to get that money. She said, listen, I'm getting ready to divorce my husband. I'm taking every gig they give that, to get that me. Bread. So they were they were like one of the first female groups that Empire has um signed on to their label back in the day day, but this actually happened while Cookie was in prison. Yeah. And basically they held them down, held down Empire for a while. Basically, Lucian Lucius Lulu. <laughs> God doing too many Lou. To me, yeah, Lou. So, he basically used them up, got what slap he wanted out of them, slapped with them, tossed them to the side, on to the next. Canceled their um, contract with Empire and everything. So now that 
Empire is going to do this 20 for 20. These girls are upset because they thought that if anybody would be called back to do a little something, some a little sampler, whatever. Hell, I can open up for you something. It would yeah. be us. But it I agree them. with that. I, I do. They that. did kind of do it. I agree with that. Yeah. So they decided they was going to go to this site called TMI. Well, <laughs> Portia said her folk work over there at the TMI and the TTT and the DZD and the do-do-do-do. And this girl's about to um, release an interview that's going to spill oh, 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 the tea of Empire. So I don't know what y'all got to do to make this go away. Yeah, because y'all need that deal. Yeah, y'all going to have to do this immediately. So then we see Portia, Becky, <laughs> and Cookie end up at the mall. This train wreck at the mall. These girls, y'all know how when you go to the mall during Christmas time and you got a little choir singing. Yeah, people playing, people, playing the keyboard, and, you know. I actually knew a friend that used to do that. Yeah. He used to do that. some good money and on he, said, he said, I would make like $500 a night. Yeah, I, said, I did just playing for a few hours. So they out there just doing what they doing. They got a halfway crowd. They got people over there knocking over their merch. Yeah. Got people little up, boy don't waste popcorn down by their feet. People are plugging the, the uh, mics. mics. Yeah. I mean, it's just a train wreck. That's what happened at church today. They unplugged that dodge mic. <laughs> I'm telling you. I ain't going in that rabbit hole. Y'all heard that one already. You want to know? You want to see some funny stuff? Go church. I promise you, you're gonna get a show of your life, and you yeah. ain't got to pay. You do have to pay for it though. You gotta pay your tithes and offering. Yeah, I know. But, they they unplug this mic. That's what they did. <laughs> but so, roll camera. So what the hell? What? Huh? That blinked. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's not gonna blink again. <laughs> just because you good at it. <laughs> so Cookie rolled up on the girls. So it was like, hmm, what do y'all have going on here? So Cookie said, you know what, let me go ahead and smooth this over for y'all. If this is what you want, we will give you all a deal with Empire to come back. But you're going to have to scratch that guy doing interview that's about to come out tomorrow. And we have a deal. Yeah. So Tisha Campbell's character, don't remember her name, don't even care. Hmm. She said, listen, on one condition, you get Lulu to apologize to us for I what said, he did. Oh, I yeah. said, here we go. So now we see them sitting at the, at the table. <clears throat> Now, Lucius come in with the, if I offended you. That was the white talk. <laughs> you know, <laughs> at any parts that I've done in my past before I had this accident with this explosion, <laughs> I sincerely <laughs> apologize. And, you know, I have these gifts for you right here. And, um, you know, I just want to let you all know that you are a vital part of the empire and we're so glad to have you back <laughs> so they're looking at him like okay and then and then so basically they say you know what lulu <clears throat> your apology is bullshit nah not falling for it listen that little thing that you sent over there to me to try to shake us down while we were trying to do our performance, she didn't realize that uh, while she was in prison making license plates, that you was all up in the... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they started Definitely going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So they said, you know what, well, they left a bottle there saying, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and let that, um, that disc record come out and that interview come out. And Lucia said, you know what, you right there. You know, time has been on your side. Not you. Not you. Not you. <laughs> I said, Lucius, you stupid. And he said, you know what? He told Cookie, he said, see, this is where I come into place. This is how I do things right she here. was pissed. Yeah, he said, I'm going to handle it, and I'm going to handle it the Empire way. And I said, I know how this is about, mm -hmm. to, about to go right here, right now. Long story short, Lucius ended up, because these girls had a deal with somebody. They made the mistake of actually saying who the deal was. They made the job easy for him. Yep. They come into the office the next day. Dude is there. They think that they don't really shook down Lucius. Uh-huh. Lucius looked at them and said, you know, uh, what was his name? Um, I thought I wrote uh, it. Patel. Patel, yeah. Said, you know what? Thank you, Patel. You know, you know, I gave you a heck of a deal for your company. And it was like, what? What? And he said, oh, mm -hmm. we own him. Now we own you, you. too. You, we own your name, your wardrobe, your time, everything you think about, we own it. He said, so if you're going to go to the mall, a bar mitzvah, yep. a baptism, you they better not sing now. No. They don't, yeah. They when got I, all come through us. <laughs> I said, well, God, don't. So then we see where 
they actually used that for their advantage. They went ahead and had this, I don't even know what it was, but they performed for your yeah. aunties and them. The 20 for 20 was showcase? Yeah, some kind yeah, of showcase. 20, yeah, 20 for 20 showcase. That, mind you, Eddie had already talked Jamal out of being a part of it. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, that was the first time I was side-eyeing the heck out of him. And I said, why would he do that? He talking about something that's gonna be bad for business because you basically, you just came from murder to the mic. And it ain't gonna look good until this deal go through. Ain't nobody stunting that. They know yeah. how Empire get down. Yeah. Their owner is a goddamn killer. All they think about is the paper, the bread. And they the fell for it. Yeah, he fell for it. I said, I said, come on now, um, Jamal. But he I respect what he said. I don't he respect what he said. He trusts him at this point. He so. do, he trusts him at yeah. that point. So he sat out on it. So then Becky came over there to Jamal because he's down in his feelings about having to sit out. And she goes over there to Jamal and she tells Jamal, she said, listen, I have something I want to tell you and you're the first person that I want to tell. I am pregnant as all can be. And he's all excited. You know he he's like, yeah. And she was like, mm -mm, nah, it ain't like that. Mm -mm. She says, this ain't where I want to be. This ain't what I want. This ain't how it's supposed to play and out, mm -hmm. you know, and. He was like, so what Big Papa got to say about it? She was like, mm-mm. She said, you know, he real extra Christian right now, so he's going to talk me into trying to keep this baby. And, I mean, I guess that's her decision. She doesn't want to keep the baby. I said, how extra Christian is you? Yeah. Said so when he dipping his fish stick into your freaking pleasure sauce, he don't think about that. <laughs> so, uh -huh. I said he was conveniently. Never mind. Don't even yeah, worry about don't it. Yeah, worry about it. So, next thing we know, and I did appreciate that scene with them because it's so genuine because they are really friends like that for real in real life. And I could actually see a scenario going down like, just like that. that. Uh -huh. Just True. like that with them. I love how they play with each other on Instagram. It trips me out. So then later on, we saw that Jay Papa was actually there where Becky was. And he walked up to Becky and he really does like Becky. He's mm -hmm. like, you know... I'm where I want to be in my career. Yeah, you, you got the position you, yeah. you want to be in. You know, we can make this thing happen. And she's telling him, no, no, mm. no, no. I'm like, right you going to tell him you pregnant? Wrong tell time. You pregnant. Right person, wrong time. And he was like, what are you talking She was like, I just got to cut it off with you. We can't see each other no more. And I'm sitting here like, Becky, 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 just tell us, man. Just tell him. Just don't, don't, don't do don't nothing delay. like that. Don't delay. And don't tell, tell him. him. Yeah, tell him. So Jay Papa was looking at her like, Okay, that ain't what you said a few nights, weeks ago, but oh. I guess this is a decision we're going to have to live with at this point. So I hope at some point she tell him. Yeah, she needs to tell him before somebody else tell him. Yeah. Yeah, that ain't going to be pretty if somebody else tell him. Yeah. So then we see at the table. See, this is when Eddie, it ain't no thinking he dirty. We. Ugh. It's all on the table now. Him and his ex-wife, they don't conjure up this scheme. To basically have Empire taken from Anifa, Cookie, and Lucia. I'm still so trying to figure out how they're going to do that, how to do that through this dude. I didn't, wasn't really paying too much attention. So, charge it to everything. That's because this on. dude was, was trying to get the deal with the Empire um, stream to pretty much offer to his his um, customers for free. And he just paid Empire a discount. So, I'm still trying to figure out how they're going to spend that into taking control of the company. I think we've been watching Tyler Perry long enough to not just read into anything too seriously. Just go with that. Just go with it. Yeah, it all come out. Just pretty much go with it. So at this point, <clears throat> I'm starting to notice that Cookie ain't too well. Yeah, she been, she been, yeah, she been she kind of like woozy through the whole episode. Yeah, because at first I said, hold on. Did dead Councilman Tay D shoot up the club before he went on an exit to that great getting up morning? Yeah. That's the first thing I thought about. So then we over at the table. Because they're giving Andre a welcome home um, dinner. Everybody's eating. Well, not everybody's eating because Andre ain't eating. Yeah. But everybody got the long faces. The, everybody is in their feelings about something. So Cookie goes around the table and was like, okay, wait a minute. What's but going you know, on But you know, every time that table, some skit either is going or it, or happens. it happens at, at the, the table. table. At the table. <laughs> so... <laughs> we'll prepare a table for you in the presence of mm -hmm. enemy. Or your family. <laughs> Which is usually your enemy sometimes. <laughs> so, we got Hakeem. He's telling them, saying, look, I proposed to Tiana and she said a maybe. Cookie said, hmm, that's just a long no, 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 no. Yeah, that's good but anyway, no. So, Jamal was in his feelings about having to sit out for the 20 for 20. And 
Lucia said, well, you benched you yourself. You benched yourself. We didn't do that. So I was waiting for him to kind of say. The Uncle Eddie told me but that. But he didn't say yeah. that. So then they looked at Andre and they said, Andre, why haven't you eaten? What's going on with you? So then Andre asked to speak to Pops in private so they can have a conversation. And the whole time Lucius had been looking at him like. He, like he knew he wanted. He just got shaking something. Him down. Yeah, he got he got something he needed to tell me. Just shaking him down at the goddamn table. <clears throat> so they went into Lucia's um office, and Andre told him, "said Listen, I went to church today." So then Lucia took over the conversation, talking about something. I understand how it is mm -hmm. when you don't feel cold <laughs> after that explosion. Just something happens. To like me. something is missing. Something is just missing, and it's not my leg. It's like I just. Everything is not coming together. Andre I'll said, you know what? I got something to tell you. I, I did it. I did it. I did it. I tried to blow your hind paws up. Because, you know, Lucia was going on with the, you know, um, Thirsty said that he heard that Juliana was talking about bombs and all of this. And she and ain't she, that sophisticated to pull something off like that. The only person I know that can pull off something as calculating as that is, I did it, Pops. It was uh, me. me. It I was did me. It. So then he turns around and he said, you know what, Pops, I don't made my piece. And he grabbed the pistol. I said, oh, hell. Oh, he going to shoot? I said, he going to shoot him. I said, he going to shoot himself. I thought he was going to kill himself. Because he no, kept I saying, I he... made my piece with it. And at this point, you do what you got to do. So then he handed the gun to Lucius. And Lucius was like, you tried to kill me? And I said, Lucius, why are you acting surprised? You don't try to kill you... all your kids. Yeah, you don't put them against each other. Trash cans? Yeah. What? Hmm. Wait, wait, how, how soon we forget? <laughs> the stuff that we did. Yeah, we forget all the sewing that we did. Hello? You don't huh? lost the leg now. Everything's supposed to be all right. No. So, this thing we know, he don't pistol whip the heck out of Andre with the pistol. And yep. they're just going at it. Bow, bow, bow. So, by the time Cookie and the rest of the all boys don't ran in there, they don't work the thing he up. He tried to kill us. He tried to kill I us. I don't know who he is. Come on. Cookie said, he's not well. Yeah, he's he, not himself. He's not himself. He he's didn't not, take his medicine. You're not that. yourself when you're hungry. Um, then we got over there, the boys. They going at him too. I said, so all of y'all being judgmental now? Yeah, y'all y'all forget all the skit that he done did to y'all? Or he done did for y'all? Yeah. Godre done bailed y'all out. Now, all, now, all the point that they had was, um, when uh, Jamal said, every night I dreamt of shooting pop for all the stuff he did, put me in the trash can, dressed like a girl, did all this kind of stuff. No, but he made I, a murder girl. Yeah, man, but, but. I ain't trying to kill him. But that makes you better? Because it's my father. I don't give a rat's ass. Yeah. My dad put me in trash can. I, I ain't going to say that out loud. No. Um, <laughs> something happened to him. They come look for me. Uh, I don't give uh, a rat's ass. Who you are? You disrespect me. Blood, no blood. It yeah. goes down. So Andre was looking at them like, so y'all really over here judging me. Yeah. You just murdered somebody. You got fresh blood on your hands, but yet you judging me. Yep. Because the person that I decided that I wanted to blow up was my dad. Yep. And Hakeem ain't no different. Yeah. I yeah. Said, oh. You turn your whole family over to the enemy. And then Cookie had to remind Lucius, ain't you the same dude that turned all your sons against each other? Yep. But D talking about something that was that was before the accident. Before but, the leg. Yeah. Say it. Say it. It's my leg. Yeah. Come on here. <laughs> so then when we know. This is when we saw that Cookie was starting to really like, she couldn't catch her breath. She was breathing hard. I'm yeah. like, okay, Cookie, <clears throat> is she about to have a panic attack? What is going on? And next thing you know, she kind of collapsed a little bit. And Lucius was like, what the world? So he called the ambulance and he was like, my, my, my wife. Is something going on with her? And I said, oh, Lord, did she say her left arm? I said, oh, uh -oh it's true. Stroke or heart attack. Mm -hmm. Well, according to the previews for next week, it was a oh, god darn heart, heart attack. attack. And I said, Lee Daniels, what you not fitting to do? Nah, Cookie ain't going she nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. But why we gotta have her? Why we she got, gotta, gotta have keep, heart keep, attack? Gotta keep you on edge. All that pressure that she that that they don't put her through. But I'm gonna say this right here. External strength doesn't always mean internal strength. It's bad. people. People can appear to be strong, but weak on the inside. Yeah, I agree. Is that is that what Lee Daniels is showing us about Cookie? That she ain't as strong as we think she is. 
and that she held all that stuff on the inside, all that stress from being locked up, coming back and dealing with these boys, dealing with Lucius, putting out all the fires. And now the body is actually telling us. Team too much. How she really is. Your body, your body never lies. It don't lie. Your body will, you can tell me how strong you is, but your body gonna let me know the truth. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. Holla.